What the hell happened to Dwight Coward? And yeah, I said it, Dwight Coward. Okay, and I spelled it right and everything. You know why I call that nigga Dwight Coward? Look at him. He's a fucking coward. He leaves his team, he does this, he does that. You know what I'm saying? He's just a coward, man. I, 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 to be honest, I really never liked him, man. You know what I'm saying? And with them rumors about him last year, that made me, you know, no, 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 no disrespect to anybody out there that, you know, do what you do there behind the scenes, that's your business. But hey, I, I, I don't play that. You know what I'm saying? And when I heard that about him, I'm like, what the? Why does this not surprise me about this dude? But anyways, what the fuck happened to Dwight Coward? All right, and I wrote down his teams on my phone. So, obviously he played for Orlando Magic. Listen, I used, when you look at my old videos, I used to talk good about Dwight Coward. He was the modern day era after Shaq, you know, became out of his prime and stuff. He was the best big man in the league. He was supposed to be the next Shaq. He was more athletic than Shaq. He could jump higher than Shaq. He wasn't big as strong as Shaq, but he was strong and big. You know what I'm saying? And I remember before the draft, it was, it was the teams were deciding whether Orlando was going to pick Dwight Coward or Mecca Okafor. You know, they were going back and forth to decide what, what they want. Mecca Okafor was a champion in Connecticut. He played three or four years. He was a solid defensive player. So was Dwight Coward. But they felt like the Orlando Magic felt like Dwight Coward had more upside, and he did. You know what I'm saying? And even though Emeka Okafor did, uh, you know, win the uh, Rookie of the Year over him, obviously Dwight Coward in those first seven years with Orlando, uh, he lived up to expectations. He really did. But once he went to the Lakers, okay, um, Kobe kind of exposed his ass when him and Steve Nash came because he was that was a fail. You 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 guys know that. Um, him and him and Kobe, he, you know, Dwight Coward plays a lot of games and he messes around. Kobe don't do that shit, man. Kobe don't play that. Like, homie don't play that. Kobe don't play that. So, Dwight Coward, you know, Kobe kind of ca called him out and, you know, he had to get out of there after that. And he went to Houston for a couple years. That experiment didn't work with James Harden. Obviously, James Harden's tough, too. And Dwight Coward just plays around too much. He, he really does. And then he went back home to Atlanta. You guys remember that? You know, with, like, oh man, he's going back home to Atlanta. That was a fail. Then he went to Charlotte to the to the Hornets or whatever. That was a fail. Then he went to the Wizards. Then he went to the Grizzlies, and all that stuff was a fail. And now he's a free agent. He's and he's basically caught in purgatory, and, and nobody wants the white card. And I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? I I wouldn't have this dude on my team. He's a journeyman. He's got too much BS with him, and uh, he doesn't really try hard. To be honest, he doesn't play that hard. You know what I'm saying? And even though he works out hard and he's always taking pictures of his muscles and working out, he's dudes in phenomenal shape. He is. He just he doesn't have it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So LeBron James, they used to say the same thing. Oh, he passes too much. He doesn't want to take the last shot. He doesn't have the clutch gene. You know, Skip Payless made that up, by the way. And Dwight Cowher, like I said, he's that times ten. He he don't he just don't have it. He has the body. Um, his body's on a hundred, but his mental's like on a ten. On a scale of one to hundred, like I said, his body's on a hundred, mental's a ten. And uh, Dwight Coward, uh, we might have seen the last of him. I, I don't know. I'll make a video if he does sign with somebody. Somebody might sign him, you know, for a 10-day uh, or something. I don't know. Maybe a year and see what he does and stuff like that. Give him a league minimum and stuff like that. But uh, it's a shame when you see a, a, you see a Dwight, uh, talent like a Dwight Coward, uh, fold up like a tent like this and just fizzle out. I mean, he could have been a, a, a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer. And that's my question to you guys. Um, Dwight Coward, is he a Hall of Famer? Do you think he is? Yes or no? Uh, leave it in the comment section below and let me know. But like I said, it's a shame. Um, Dwight Coward fell off a grace like this. And hopefully um, he'll get another chance with an NBA team. But if I was them, I would definitely not sign Dwight Coward and all the motherfucking baggage he brings. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the video. Yeah, no, I'm videoing myself. Okay. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Sorry, I got distracted. The tennis lady was talking to me. She asked me if I got, if I got, I was videoing her. I said no. If I was, the camera would be up the other way. But anyways, let me know if he's a Hall of Famer. Hit the like button. If you like this video, hit the dislike button. If you don't, tell me why you like it. Tell me why you don't like it. And if you like this channel, please tell things. Tell people about it. Okay, please. You see these two pillars back here? You gotta have that like in your life. You gotta have your mind and your and your and your and your, and your money right. Those two pillars. If you if you if you like this these kind of videos, go to my my channel, uh, Jerry Nunnally, and get your mind and your money right. All right. Do me a favor. Let me talk to this lady for a second. But if you think my videos are stupid, get the hell out of here and don't come back. All right.
because you already know I don't give a damn. Holla at your boy. Peace.